Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another class of video. In today's video we're going to be doing the M4A1. It was requested by someone over on my Instagram as they obviously really like the M4A1. As, a, as I know a lot of you guys will as well, a lot of players do tend to use the M4A1. It's a very popular gun, probably just as popular as the MP5 which I did cover in my last video. So if you did miss that one, make sure you do go and check that one out as well. After you watch this one of course. But before we do get into the class it up, make sure everybody's smashing that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and make sure you do follow me over on my Instagram and my Twitter. Link is in the description for both of those. But anyway, hopping straight into the class it up. This is the class it up. This is my perks, exactly the same as the MP5, I do believe. Um, sometimes I tend to alternate between Battle Hardened and Shrapnel, uh, depending on what I'm playing. <laughs> but they're all personal preference, uh, it's up to you. Uh, I've got the frag on this class, but I also do like to use the C4 as well. Um, but anyway, enough of that. Into the class setup of the M4A1, we do have the FSS 12.4 Predator Barrel. Uh, increases aim down sight speed and it also has that sound suppression just to keep you a little bit off the radar. Uh, a bit more stealthy in exchange for bullet velocity. But I find in this game you're not having too many long range engagements, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, the under barrel, we have the Commando 4 Grip for increased recoil stab stabilization and aiming stability in exchange for movement speed, which isn't a big con to say you can be a lot more accurate with this gun, which is massive. I think the Commando 4 group is probably the best underbarrel attachment on any weapon you can use. I think it's on near enough every single weapon in this game. Not 100% because I don't tend to use a lot of them. I have used every single weapon, but I've not gone in depth with any of the attachments on a lot of weapons. Uh, so I'm not 100%. Ammunition, we've got 60 round mag. Same reason I'd used uh, the center mag on the MP5. I like to have as many bullets in my gun as possible. Uh, just for the simple fact there is that chance you could run into a big group of enemies and I want to be able to stand the best chance of killing them all to increase my chances of getting you know quad feeds, triple kills and just as many kills as possible recently uh, to be honest with you. Uh, the only con of this it does decrease the aim down sight speed and movement speed um, but it's not a big con because the other attachments we do use sort of counteract them uh, so it sort of makes up for it in the end. Uh, rear grip we have the stipple grip tape like I said just a second ago this increases the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire speed in exchange for aiming stability. So as you can see we've got a sort of a pattern with the attachments going off just to sort of balance everyone out and sort of, you know, equal, like, get rid of each con. So the aiming stability might be decreased in one attachment but another attachment is going to boost it back up. So there is a lot more benefits than uh, negatives in this class setup. Believe me, it's probably the best M4A1 setup, I believe, in my opinion. I've tried loads of different... Um, variations but yeah increased aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed which is massive in this game being able to get your first shot off uh, especially after sprinting as well uh, is huge the time to kill in this game is so slow so you've got to make sure you've got it as my perk same as the mp5 fully loaded every single time no matter what gun it is fully loaded it's got to be your perk you run out of ammo so quickly on this game it has knocked me off a couple of streaks when i've not been using this uh say if i've just started going for the weapon or there's a uh, officer rank challenge going for zero attachment kills then uh, it has threw me off a lot of streaks not being a health be not being able to have that bullet capacity as you know as a lot of my class setups pretty much every single one I don't run the combat knife uh, I, I do run the combat knife I don't run any of a secondary just for the simple fact straight off a spawn I like to switch the combat knife straight away and sprint as quickly as I can to where I want to be to get to a sort of vantage point as quickly as possible before the enemy can and uh, 9 times out of 10 I'm there before anybody else so I would recommend doing that uh, it's entirely up to you though if you want to opt for a secondary you can but I don't personally I've never have since the since the, probably Black Ops 2 uh, since she was able to actually have a combat knife for your secondary so that's just me here's a class setup one last time the full setup so make sure you do try it out for yourself it's really insane we're going to hop straight into a gameplay of me showing this off i'm going to pretty decent streak so i hope you guys do enjoy this thank you guys ever so much watching before we do start make sure you smash that like button hitting the subscribe button and let me know if you try this out yourself let me know down in the comments what you find of it and if there's other variations or something you would change let me know about that as well thank you guys ever so much watching and i'll see you in a gameplay okay guys we are playing headquarters on backlot Probably my favourite map out of, uh, hang on, nice little double kill there, two headshots, I like that, that's what I like to see, nice start. Probably my favourite map out of the new DLC maps this season, uh, probably say Anya, can I kill this kid? I might be able to wall bang him, am I? Probably my second favourite is the Anya Excursion and uh, the Sawmill one is probably my least favourite. Kill that kid, nice little wall bang. 
Oh my days, why did that not hit me, that bouncing bay? <clears throat> I've got a UAV, should call that in. Just have it take a second. I'm gonna play this a little bit slow, and oh my god. I wanna try and play for the VTOL. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna secure the HQ though. The nades flying everywhere right now. There's someone coming up behind me, I think. Oh my days, he would have the snake shot Kimbo's. Jesus. Wow. When we respawn, we're going off. Okay, we're back in. I need to watch out for that Kimbo snake shot guy. See if I can get a kill over the top of there. It's a nice little uh, nade spot, that to be fair. Uh, to be honest. That kid of the snake shot Kimbo's, he's definitely going to annoy me if he keeps killing me. So let's hope. But hopefully, we can secure some streaks as a guy up top. There we go. Honestly, this gun is actually really decent. I don't use the M4. Oh my days, wow. I didn't use the M4A1 too much at the start of the game. Or now, for that fact. I mean, this kid, man. I felt like he was going to be pre aiming. I needed to watch that kill cam, but um, I didn't use the M4A1 as much as I would have liked. Oh my days, I'm getting shot in the back. Not a good start to this game, but hopefully, we can uh, redeem ourselves. I hope. We're going to try. It's a pretty decent vantage point as well when to, uh, defending this HQ because a lot of people tend to come here obviously because the HQ is here. Uh, they don't tend to look up here so <clears throat> let's just uh, take it slow to start off and see if we can uh, slay a load of these but see if I can nade that kid all the way over there. See if I get him. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure if we actually got that kid but we've got someone over there so I'll take it either way. But uh, I wish I did. Uh, I'm definitely going to start using it more after doing this class setup video on it. Because um, I liked it when I was going for camos, when I was going for Damascus on it, this guy on that building below me. Um, and it is actually really good, I just I use it in Warzone, uh, but a multiplayer, I don't tend to use it, this guy below me. Where is he? Where's he gone? He's below, below the stairs, isn't he? On my days, where did he go? Where the hell did this kid go? No, there he is. One kill off UAV, as soon as we get this UAV called in. Uh, I mean, we've got one now, but I hope they start pushing a little bit more. Um, hopefully, my teammates start to die off a little bit. They should start to push more. There's four of us left. Um, <clears throat> but we seem to be dominating these right now. Very quiet game. Similarly, get, similarly well, the MP5 video was quiet as well. Um, this kid comes his window. I feel like headquarters can be a little bit quiet. Kill that kid. Range, just stole that uh, guy's kill. Nice little one shot. Two kills away from the VTOL right now, so try and get that in the bag. They're definitely coming from over from uh, construction. Uh, but yeah, definitely I'm a team rushing that way, so I don't want to go that way. There's going to be no kills. They keep coming to this window though, trying to flank round. Um, I presume they know we're spawned here. So hopefully I can just keep it under control. Like I say, one kill off a of VTOL now. Let's see if we can secure this. I'm going to push a little bit out because I don't want to just stand still. Hopefully we can get this, <clears throat> but I hate not having a UAV because they could be anywhere and I feel like they're going to be in this uh, broken building. Hopefully not, I'm just taking it a little bit steady. Oh, that's guy kind of there, that's the VTOL right there. It'd be nice if we can get the advance as well, four kills off. Um, call the VTOL real quick, see where they're at. Okay, they're over near the next HQ. I'll drop it in back alley, see if we can get anyone. Maybe, looks like they're going to go to the HQ though. Damn. You need to be careful not to die here. I've got no uh, frags left. Oh my god, I've been sniped all the way from over in the construction building. Wow, I did not expect anyone to be over there. Especially with the HQ while well, they need to be very careful of that guy. Damn. But I definitely try and get some more streaks in there. Well, not advanced UAV, that is for sure. Let's see what we can do. These are going to start dying off real quick. <clears throat> so. Hopefully we can disable this HQ real quick. They're still in here for some reason. I thought that was enemy dropping out the window. Now nah, they're all dead. So I'm going to run over here as quick as I can. Try and get some of them off the spawn. Hopefully that nade hits someone. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. They're going to be pushing through here as well. There's one. Hopefully we can get some more streaks real quick. That's my hope. <clears throat> The spawn in here, though, there should be a fair few enemies around here. I've seen one in that window. Oh, he's killed me. I, I didn't think he saw me. I wanted to try and kill that guy first and then go back to the window. Damn. I need to get some more streaks in real quick. That VTOL got me, like, one kill. Seemed like it doesn't last as long. The VTOL doesn't seem as good as it used to be from uh, at the start of the game. 
I mean, this gun is insane, even at close range. It, it is definitely an all-rounder um, assault rifle, that's for sure. And it looks sick in Damascus as well. Uh, right, I'm going to push this HQ. Hopefully we can kill a couple of them. I'm hoping. There's one. I'm going to back off because I'm one shot right now. I mean, Stim's coming so in handy just for be, being able to be more aggressive. I mean, in that situation, I would have had to hang back for a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> but thankfully not. Oh, there's a guy just for that gap. Oh, I got him. Surprised I got him, to be fair. I couldn't see myself. Uh, but I knew I was getting hit markers over there, so I just had to keep shooting. Hopefully we can uh, secure this HQ. Oh, no. They're on the HQ. I didn't feel like they were still on it. I need to kill this kid in the corner, and there's a guy on the HQ still. Unless my teammate manages to kill him, but he's still contested. No, he's not going to be able to. He's in that corner. I'm trying to wallbang him through the thing. I wasn't sure where he was. Uh, that's why I seem to be spraying a little bit. But we're two kills off. I think we're two kills off of Eton right now. So hopefully we can secure another one. And then hopefully we can secure the Adventure AV as well. That is the, uh, that's the, that's the dream right now. We're going to disable this HQ. So I'm going to run as quickly as I can now over to where I think they're going to be spawning at. See if I can actually pick a few because I feel like if I keep running forwards, there's a snipe here. See if I can get a snipe. I feel like if I ran all the way, I'd be caught off guard. So I have to keep that in mind. They're going to be coming to this next HQ though. So, come on. <clears throat> I know they're over there, but they're just not pushing. There's one there. Oh, I missed him. Only, unfortunately, I only had one bullet in it, but hey ho. Let's move towards the HQ. Make sure no one's flanking around here. Because you tend to get people everywhere on uh, HQ headquarters. Uh, not so much on hardpoint, they tend to go to the objective, but I feel like HQ, they can be anywhere on the map, to be honest. Not everybody likes to play the objective on it, just for the simple fact. Um, <clears throat> I feel like, I think it's... Oh, I killed this kid. I think it's because when the, the HQ is secured, obviously there's no respawns, which makes it a little bit more intense when it is secured, uh, and they like to be a bit out of the way. Because if you're around the HQ and it's got secured, then you're probably going to die. But I'm kind of holding back because I know my teammate might get overrun in that little building. Um, and they might push out like he has been now. But hopefully I can pick him off and just wait for him. There's one. Wow. Oh my days. We've got the VTOL though nonetheless. Let's call this in quickly. I'm going to push back over to the HQ and see if I can get another one. Oh my days. This kid's spawn. I, don't know, I could say spawn trapping but no he's not even spawn trapping. He's just sat doing nothing. See if I can kill him. Yeah there we go. Camper. Gotta hate campers, man. Don't mind if you're holding down there. Oh, the map, wow. Jesus, let's go. Oh, there's one right there. Right, let's, we can definitely get this other VTOL. I know we can. <clears throat> Secure the HQ, see if I can get anyone to run into me. In fact, I can't. I need to push this. I need to push this spawn. There's another one. There's a guy to my left. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him. Oh, here we have. The guy with the right shield. Not going to get him, no way. I don't think. Oh my god, there's a nade. Praise the Lord for EOD. That's why EOD's got to be on every single class. I'd have been dead. Oh my daisy, I cannot get a kill. I'm not even getting hit marker. I definitely need to push a bit forward. They're all hiding in there. From the VTOL. Throw a grenade in there, see if I can get anyone. I feel like going to bounce straight back out. Oh my days, they're all here. Oh my days. Let's go. Triple kill. There's the VTOL. Two kills off the advance. Oh, no way! Oh, we got a quad feed and I killed myself. No, I didn't realise how weak I was. That is the worst way to die off a streak. Oh, one kill off the advance. That is the third VTOL of the game and we did get a merciless there, which is insane. Nice little play there, to be fair. I enjoyed that. Very aggressive and a lot of kills in quick succession. Just showcasing what this gun is capable of. It's actually insane. And that's why I opt for the extender mags as well. When they've got that much enemies. Not having to reload um, in them scenarios helps so much. It definitely keeps the uh, tempo fast. Wow. We're going in right now. <clears throat> and I'm getting shot in the back. But I don't care. Because this is oh how man. We've had a decent game. I'm really enjoying this gun. It's definitely very good. And I would recommend trying it out yourself. There's 9 seconds left of this game. I'm just going to kill them as they come out of the spawn, more than likely. There's another one. Two seconds. And that is game. Wow. Kill him as well. 40 kills. That's what I like to see. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby. Once again, this is the class setup I did use. So make sure you do try it out for yourself. 
we had a very decent game so I'd highly recommend this class set up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Try it out for yourself. Let me know how you find it. And like I said earlier, make sure you do let me know um, if you have any changes or what you think is best for the M4A1 as well. I might give it a try and recommend any other guns you want me to use as well. Message me on my Instagram or Twitter or comment below. Links from my Instagram and Twitter are down below as well. Make sure you do follow me on both of those. Stay up to date when videos do go live and other things that's going on in my life and news. All that kind of stuff. Make sure you smash that like button as well. Hit subscribe. It does mean a lot to me. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.